So I filmed my pregnancy update for weeks 14, 15 and 16 and completely forgot to tell you about the dramatic start to this second trimester, which was literally, I think it was the day I turned 14 weeks, I started bleeding. And of course, given my history, I absolutely went into a spiral of panic and depression. Um, the bleeding lasted, it was so light, it lasted for the morning. Um, and it really was incredibly light. I was just envisaging it turning into um, a bigger bleed and then, you know, loss. Um, and it was accompanied by a lot of cramping. And I don't know if it's because I was aware of it that the cramping felt worse or whether it genuinely, genuinely was worse. Um, obviously, it stopped and I've continued to grow and I've felt stuff. So I think everything is fine. Absolutely fine. I still haven't had a scan or anything, but, you know, that was three weeks ago now. So everything was all right. So I guess the moral of the story is just because you see a little bit of blood doesn't necessarily mean the worst is happening. I had bleeding throughout my first trimester with Jacob. I've had a lot of bleeding in the first trimester with this pregnancy. And this bleed in the second trimester was very light. It was probably just stretching and growing, causing a little bit of a bleed on my cervix. Probably. I'm, I'm, I'm a bleeder. I typically bleed anyway. So yeah, nothing to worry about there, but a dramatic start to the second trimester. And now I will go back to what I filmed yesterday, which was the actual update that um, I did for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get Jacob to go to sleep on his own. We've been sleep training for about three days. He's upstairs at the moment, awake. He's very quiet. So I'm gonna make this video now in the hopes that he's just fallen asleep and I'll go and go and check on him when I finish this. Um, this is my 14, 15 and 16 week pregnancy update. I, these, this, this, first part of the second trimester, nothing much changes. Um, and so I thought I'd just bung the three weeks together and to give you a general update after a few weeks. So in general, I'm feeling a lot better. My skin is much improved. I do tend to get little outbreaks, but generally it's better than it was. I am feeling more energized ish. It definitely has been a bit of a roller coaster. Some days I'm absolutely exhausted, and actually today is a tired day. But that also coincides with whether Jacob is sleeping well. He's had a few rough days recently, so um, maybe that's just the reason why I'm tired. <laughs> um, but generally, I'm not feeling as sick. I'm getting quite hungry again, so my appetite's picked up again. I was able to have a cup of coffee the other day, decaf coffee, of course, but that's a real big step for me because coffee has turned my stomach um, for the entirety of this pregnancy up until like this last week. So um, I'm getting back to normal in the sense of, you know, just being able to eat normally and, and enjoy life a bit more and not just feel rotten. Um, I am still quite achy. I guess that's the main, the main symptom that I'm dealing with. And my tummy's really popped now, so it's just that kind of ache in the bowl of your pelvis. Just, yeah, just like intense period pain, basically, and backache. I find if I stand up and wash up, by the time I finish washing up, I'm in agony. My back hurts so much. I should probably do more core exercise and yoga and things. I did with Jacob. But because we're in this lockdown situation, I have very little time. It's so difficult to find that moment, because times like this when Jacob's asleep, it's usually when I quickly get on and do some work. Um, so finding time to do, you know, focused exercise is quite tricky. I just walk, we just go for walks um, and try and get my exercise in that way, but it's not the same as like stretching and core strength building. So that might be something I need to address, I think. I'm not sleeping so well. So 
I generally just am not enjoying sleep. I just lie there and feel uncomfortable. When I wake up, my back hurts. I have to crack my back out every morning. I remember doing the same with Jacob, actually. I think because I end up having to lie solely on my left side. I can sometimes lie on my right side at the moment, but I, I feel this kind of weird sensation just like... I, it just feels uncomfortable when my organs are being crushed or like someone's standing on my throat. It just feels a little suffocating to lie on my right. I can't lie on my back and you're not supposed to lie on your back anyway as you move through pregnancy. So the only option I have is to lie on my on my left side. And I think that just starts to give me backache being in one position most of the night. I'm still incredibly thirsty, waking up like <laughs> in the night. Always have a pint of water by the bed and uh, and obviously still needing to go to the loo. Not as often actually at the moment, but still a couple of times in the night being quite desperate for the toilet. So just not enjoying sleep. It's dreaming, crazy dreams. That's still going on. I haven't yet experienced the cramp, the middle of the night cramp. I'm expecting that to come soon. But the one exciting thing, one of the biggest changes besides generally feeling better is quickening, the technical name, quickening. Basically, I started to feel baby move. About two weeks ago, I was thinking, is it gas? Is it, have I just got, is it just wind? Do we need to fart? Is that what, what the feeling is? And um, then I was stood up cooking the other day and I felt like almost, the, almost like this turning over, complete turning over feeling in my lower stomach. And I just knew, I was certain that that was baby moving. And occasionally I just get these little, like, knocks. And it's not that, you know, sometimes you have a tired muscle and the muscle twitches, like under your eye, or I get it sometimes in my thumb or in other places. S sometimes I think it's that because it's pulsing, but other times it's just a, a one. Like, like, it's like a kick, like a kick. And so, yeah, I definitely think that Maybe not all the time, but some of the times I felt these, these sensations, I'm certain it's been baby. And that's exciting. It's also reassuring when you can start to feel the baby move because, you know, it's been quite a few weeks now since my last scan. I still have three and a half weeks till my next scan. Although I do have a midwife appointment next week, which means I'll get to hear the heartbeat which is just always good just to have those check-in points to say, is baby still okay? Baby's still all right? Um, so yeah, that's it really. I'm back into the struggles of maternity wear. I put my maternity jeans on this morning. <sighs> so uncomfortable. It's like the worst purchase I've ever made is to buy this pair of maternity jeans. Maternity leggings all the way. <laughs> um, although the two pairs of maternity leggings I have have holes in the crotch. Not ideal, so I might have to invest in a new pair of maternity leggings. And um, it's a bit cold at the moment, but as the weather picks up, I can start wearing my dresses and my shorts, and then that's fine. That should see me through to the end of the pregnancy. But I, I kind of feel a bit, a bit loath to buy loads of new clothes for such a short period of time. Um, I didn't do it with Jacob. I wanted to, but I didn't. I just bought some stuff from a charity shop. I had a few hand-me-downs, and. Uh, you know, that passed quickly. Now I'm using the same things again. And um, I just, I just, I'm not a big fan of buying clothes anyway. I can never find what I want. I can never find the right sizes. And I'm always too busy. So it's always a bit of a chore for me trying to find clothes. And so trying to find clothes for a short period of time, just, <laughs> I'll just make do. I'll wear a bin bag if I have to. Just wrap me in pajamas and I'll stick my pajamas all day. Anyway, um, that's all I have to report, really. Uh, oh, my heel cracked. This is something I exposed to Jacob. I think it's the fast weight gain, perhaps. But I have quite dry heels. I generally walk around the house barefoot, which dries them out even more. And when I was pregnant with Jacob, and it's happened this time, there's a certain point where I can feel the stretching in my heels and then the, the skin splits. And so I've got a split heel. It's not fun. So I do lots of moisturiser, put my socks on, trying to look after my feet, because if they're split now, I've got a long way to go yet. <laughs> okay, well that's all for me to report. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all well. 
and I'll see you in the next update. Bye. Oh, I'm going to show you my bump. Hang on. Okay, here we go. That's my front on bump. My side on bump. Nice and neat. Lovely. Baby. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye.